So you're looking to delete your Instagram account and you are not sure how. Everywhere you go, you find out how to disable your account but not actually delete it. And you're pretty much over it. And that's why you're on YouTube. <laughs> so today I will guide you on how you can delete your Instagram account. Click the subscribe button and the bell to be notified every time I post a new video for you on entrepreneurship, marketing, and personal growth. All right, guys, so I am not going to reinvent the wheel for you. Uh, to be quite candid, you can always go to help.instagram.com for all the information that you need. And I'm not even going to lie, the best source of information is always going to be the source. <laughs> so if you ever want to know something, I know that you're on YouTube and like I'm here for you also, but I'm kind of telling you not to come to me. So it feels kind of ironic. Uh, but yeah, you can always go straight to the source and find out information. So help.instagram.com will guide you through this. But if you are a visual learner and you need a little bit more explanation, kind of like I do, that's why I'm, I just like come to YouTube, then I'm super happy to go through this with you and show you how to do it. Alrighty. So in case you don't know, I definitely want to provide some options for you. So there's always temporarily disabling our account. Make sure that you know that before you go and delete things. You can always disable it. It won't show up to other people and you pretty much, it's almost like deleting it except all of your pictures and stories and archives, favorites, saved conversations will be there when you decide to come back. If you decide to come back, no hard feelings. But that way, no one can steal your username as well, which is very important. So just by disabling your account, you'll save your username, which is something that a lot of people don't really think about, uh, but it is a really important factor in that sense. Another option you might want to consider if you do have some really, really great engagement is marketplaces. You can always sell your account. So if it's not exactly personal, maybe it's a hobby account and you do have really good engagement, but you're kind of over it. Another option is to sell your Instagram account. And I feel like not enough people talk about it and not enough people like see that as a real option, but it totally is. <laughs> so you can always sell your Instagram account. I cannot refer any marketplaces because I've never bought and sold one, but I have worked with clients that have purchased accounts before because they had specific usernames or aesthetics that they really wanted. And it was as simple as sending them a DM and being like, hey, I want to buy your account. So in that sense, it wasn't the same. Uh, but yeah, there are just Google like marketplaces and I'll definitely put some in the description that I feel look safe to use. Keep in mind that if your account was removed for violating community guidelines, you, you will not be able to recover it. Now, before you delete your account, you may want to download a copy of your account. What this does, it, it saves your videos and your photos, and that way they're downloaded so that you have them. Um, you can pretty much do this with Facebook as well. So Instagram has given you that option if you want to do so before you delete your account. And even you, I just want to say something. You might be totally over it at this point. Like you might be like, I'm done with this. I'm deleting my account forever. Let me tell you that I did exactly what you're doing, okay? I was you a few years ago and I decided to delete my Facebook and I was over it and I didn't need it. Let me tell you that it was true, all right? I still don't have a Facebook. I only have one for business, but I still don't have a Facebook. I really never needed to go back. As soon as I decided it was not for me, it really wasn't for me, but... I do want to share with you that I do totally regret not downloading my pictures and everything from the past because there are memories there that I do actually vividly remember and I think about those photos and I don't have them anymore. So even though this app might not be for you and you are actually like really over it, just download, download that stuff because you just never know, you know, you never know and you might want to go back and like see some memories or some pictures or something and then you really won't have it and there's nothing sadder than something like that. So please just don't do me the favor and download everything. <laughs> uh, you will need a browser. So you do need to do this from the internet. You cannot delete your account from your phone. 
So yes, go grab your computer and grab a cup of tea or coffee, whatever your thing is. My thing today is the Strawberry Perrier. Highly recommend if you haven't tried it. But yeah, just grab yourself a browser, however you can. And then um, let's do it. So you're going to click or tap the username in the top right of the delete your account page. And I'm going to link page link on the description box below. So that way you guys can refer back to this video. So like the best way to do it is if you're watching me on your phone, like save my video to watch later and then go on your browser later and then find me again. So I'm going to put the link on there uh, so that you guys know the direct link to delete your account. Um, and then you're going to go through delete your account and you're going to basically explain why you want to delete your account. So why do you want to delete this account? I made something else, whatever privacy concerns, it doesn't matter. Too distracting. That would be mine. So Instagram tries to like talk you out of it and tells you like other options. If you find the app too distracting, re-enter your password and then it'll tell you the date that your account will be deleted forever. And so uh, if you continue, your profile and account de details will be deleted on a certain date, and then you won't be visible on Instagram between now and then. If you change your mind, you can log back in before the deletion date and choose to keep your account. So I have a month to decide whether I permanently want to delete my account or not. That's what it looks like. Instagram gives you 30 days to decide and then it will permanently delete you. You will not be able to get your information, but you will be able to use the username. So keep that in mind. You can make a brand new account with your username after that. So just know that you can just use it again if it's deleted. If it's temporarily disabled, you cannot. Your username is like floating in purgatory. If it's deleted, yes, you can go back and just grab your username, but somebody else can too, so keep that in mind. So yeah, for those 30 days, well, they make sure that you are 100% positive you wanna delete your account, you will basically be a ghost, you'll be invisible. And remember that if you accidentally log back in to your account or you're curious or you wanted to see something, you will have to do this process all over again because you logging back in is kind of like telling Instagram that you changed your mind and you want your account. So. Do not log in for those 30 days, okay? You've made a commitment, you don't log in, and then your account will be free. <laughs> so yeah, I know it's a little, a little chatty, but I just wanted to get everything out there and make sure that you think twice and thrice about something like this. It's kind of a big deal if you decide to leave us. So uh, yeah, I just hope that this is helpful. I will link the deletion link in the description below. This is not the same as going through your account settings and then disabling your account. It's not the same thing. So this is permanent. Yeah, so if this was helpful, give this video a little thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe because I love making these videos for you. See you next time.